All right, folks, we're getting ready for 75 laps of race in action. It is a tight track. It is a bottom feeder. What will come out of it? Green flag is in the air. So far, so clean through turns number one and two. Giannini to the outside of Brucker for the challenge for second. But there's a whole lot of cars side by side behind. They file into turn number one. This track notorious for having some massive curbs. And one driver working forward right now, trying to make a move off Boston is Secord. Yeah, Boston qualified well. Secord was a fast competitor in practice. But Boston going Whoa. back to the contact. And around go the 61 into the dirt of turn number two. I don't think he's going to be too happy about this one. As we take a look at a replay, but I think we know what happened. Yeah, it looks like he tried to go into the hole, tried to squeeze in the gap behind. You see that wide entry that Boston took, trying to set himself up to slide in. Probably spotter saying, hey, look, you got a gap. Let him go and take it. Anderson, on the other hand, said, uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, we have one car lock it up into turn number one. And multiple cars are going to have an issue here. So watch the six car. You'll see him headed into turn one here. Locks him up, drifts up the track, might have hit Guevara. And then Longman was kind of in, I guess, like response mode. All right, restart the 25 machine, Giannini. issues on the back, three wide out of turn number two. You see these cars, oh, climbing over the curb with Snell on the number nine machine just in front of Guevara. And he does it again into turn number one. And that shows how violent these curbs can be when you hit it wrong. You gotta wonder if Anderson hears a little bit of that quarter panel rub in his left ear. Or maybe he doesn't even care. Anderson taking a wider exit at that time. And Jax is going to slip to the inside. Again, a battle for fourth. Secord makes the move and makes it quick on Jax. And that could be a key move there, Tommy. 23 laps in. We're closing in on the third mark here. Right. And there is a lot of lap traffic in front of your leader. Giannini in heavy lap traffic. Your leader in the red and black, number 25. Getting to the inside of Longman in that pack that we were just showing you. A few laps uh oh, trouble! That's Snell and Guevara getting together. You got Corey's Let's wireless shot on it the whole time. Oh, there you go, Corey. I saw the move that Guevara, and then the, like, and then the pole got in the way. <laughs> I think Corey had to had to turn a little more than 180 degrees. But look at I think Corey, besides the wreck, let's watch it one more time. Yeah, just some contact going into three. But you see the camera movement. I'm pretty sure Corey picked up the camera <laughs> and the tripod and the <laughs> shot and <laughs> went around the light pole. 31 laps complete here at Havasu 95 Speedway as we go back to racing. Giannini, Eddie Secord. This could be a big break for Eddie Secord. Could have used his caution handsomely. Oh. But the Jacks are behind. And look at that field of cars, bumper to bumper, through the corner. Team Brian Williams now to the inside of Bond, and they're leaning on each other. Oh, out yeah. of Contact. Speed three in the one machine. Getting some loving from Snell, and wouldn't you know it, Nell and Guevara are back together again. <laughs> How about that? It seems to never break away after <laughs> some contact. Oh, Snell back on the curb again. We've seen this before out of the 9S machine. And around is the 9 regular on the back straightaway. And we go back to racing. A bit assumptive of me to assume we will have a uh, green flag run as Snell gets hit <laughs> further back in the pack by Longman. This is the racetrack, this is the race that you can win or lose with lap traffic. Right now, Jaron Giannini in the 25 machine is meeting 
the tail of the field and going to see a battle in front of him. Not what he wants to see with Eddie Secord in the rear view mirror. But this is Spears Manufacturing Modified Series at Havasu 95 Speedway. And we got a battle on our hands with 17 to go. The gap is getting closer. I see that. 84 fast Eddie Secord closing in on Jaron Giannini. How this youngster stay cool under the pressure from one of the veterans the Spears Manufacturing Modifieds. Oh, spin in shows. front of your leaders. They hit the gas. We go back to race and to finish this one off. Oh, and we got cars sending up. It's Brucker off of the door of Bonnet. Look at this pack going into three. Yeah, this is not helping Secord. He got a little bit of pressure from Jax. And it ended up allowing Giannini to open up that two car length lead you see. But I don't know if this one's staying green. Good battle here out of turn four. There's sideways coming to the start finish line. We don't talk a lot about this outside line, but Anderson's making it work here, Tommy. Less banking where Jax is running. Anderson does have a little bit more. Well, this is not a common thing that you see in this track is we have a spin over in turn number four. What will happen? Anderson up to third, green flag comes out. And it's a, a bit, race to the finish. A little bit of contact on the restart. Side by side, this could be the caution that Giannini needed. Here comes Anderson. Yeah, what can Anderson do? We saw him do that outside pass on Jax. Just a little bit ago, wreck in the back. A big pile up. Involving four cars. The speed shot. I think that's about the only one that captured it, possibly start to finish. I see a couple of cars all tangled up. There's a lot happening. And it looks like possibly the nine got connected with the seven, which got connected to the one of Petrie. Morris up into the wall. They got pretty wild there. Well, eight laps to go. I think a sleeper in all this, Tommy, might be that number four machine of Andrew yep. Anderson. He's in the correct lane. If he wants to make a move, we go back to green. Oh, they got connected through the front straightaway. Jax didn't like it. He's going to force himself as there's a wreck in the back with Longman. Side by side for the lead. Do we stay green or are we going yellow? Flagman decision, and it's a yellow. But you uh, wanted to see a replay. Yeah, the, the restart here. Watch the four. He's playing chicken with Jax. I think he put him in the wall here, potentially. Sending and, him up the track. And then, and then Kyle, Kyle Jax says, is like, oh, that's fine. We can play that way. And we're going to try it again. Eight laps to go. What will happen this lap? That'll keep us on lap 67. Green flag. Good restart for Anderson, breaking away from Jax. Giannini going to clear Secord, but Secord's got that front bumper. Oh, oh yeah, and all trouble. Yes, there is. Uh-oh, we're really, we're really troubling here. Watch out, turn. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Seven laps to go. It has been a rough go the last few. We're stacking them up already, and green flag is back in the air. Oh, oh no. trouble. Well, okay. well, there goes the uh, back half of the field. All right, let's take a look at the replay. What happened? Right. Contact on the restart. Dalton in the 13 gets into the back of the 23, and all heck breaks loose. Look at Longman going airborne. And unfortunately, the nine and the seven get collected. What happens on this restart? Green flag. Anderson with a run into turn number one to the inside of Secord for second. And he's going to want to make this back Ooh. quick in the event that a caution comes out. He'll be able to be the one to reap the benefits and start on that outside line. Side by side continues for the second spot. 
Out of turn oh, number two, look three at wide. Six. Three wide into turn number three. Secord with a hard rag into turn number three. A massive incident here at Havasu 95 Speedway. The red flag immediately comes out. Four laps to go. Eddie Secord is moving inside of the car. Dropping the window, the window net, net is net. down. Oh my goodness. That was a huge crash. I'm going to go to a replay. Three wide down the back straightaway, and they just get connected. The four and the 84 just meet on the back straightaway. God, this was such a big hit. You see Kyle Jacks make a move to the inside, and then the outside cars get connected. No contact from Jacks, it looks like. So the 41 to the inside, but it's the two cars on the outside that just get connected. And the 84 of Secor just demolished. Lime number 70 of 75 and a new look up front. Giannini is looking in the rear view mirror and saying, who are these drivers? Green flag is in the air. Can any of them do anything with a driver who's dominated this race? Giannini continues his lead, but Sam Jacks, I feel like it's closing in. But yellow back straight away. The number nine goes around. And going, oh, yeah. Oh, now the crowd's going wild. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, wait a minute. Man, everyone. that was harsh. The crowd, I don't know the if you crowd heard that in the background. Spoken. If you heard that in the background, the crowd literally <laughs> cheered as he left. Will we ever see the checkered flag fly upon this race? Spears Manufacturing modifies. Sam Jacks loose on the restart. Sam Jacks, I feel like, has a shot. If he can get to the 25, maybe rough him up a little bit. That might be the only way he can get around, but still, in the car. Giannini is just so fast. That 25 is flying here at Havasu. Jaron Giannini, fastest car in qualifying. And he's been the car who has led this one for the largest majority. And it is because the 25 machine has been on it. Checkered flag, Jaron Giannini wins the season opener of the Spears Manufacturing Modifieds. Well, it was a long 75 laps, and especially at the last 10. You know, you have to save your tires for the last 10. But we kind of burned them up a little quick and then played the saving mode towards the end, which uh, looked like we planned out just right. Well, you know, you're our past champion, our current point leader. Now you're the current point leader of the Spears Modified. Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah. I've improved a lot since last first tour race, so came a long ways. Well, you know, the his car handles really good. It understands the racetrack, and you definitely understand the racetrack. Sure do. A lot of time and a lot of laps on this track, so and it showed tonight. Well, good job. Had to go to Thank you.